this video we're going to take a look at CB Torque or Midland CB Torque as it's better known. I've been asked by a few friends to go over the CB Torque app so I thought we'd do this little video about that today. So here's the icon for it, the big M there, the old Midland M. Connected. And obviously now we're into the app. Off it's off there. So that's what you normally see when you turn on. And turn it on this way and you will see the, the app pop up. You can buy a microphone for this which is a Bluetooth microphone which I'll feature in a little while. Basically once you're on this app and you've registered properly you should get um, the channels pop up and everything else. The bottom section here that says squelch. Um, if you've got the microphone it's a 200 kilometer range on the internet basically and you can turn that down by just touching and stroking the, the button. Same with the volume same with the mic gain, don't need to do a lot with them really, I've uh, left mine on auto. Obviously we've got the channels there, so best way to change channel, slide it up and down. I've got uh, 80 channels on this thing because I've got the microphone that goes with it. And obviously you put it on the channel that you decide amongst your friends. The um, push to talk button, basically hold and talk, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you know you're working there. If you go down to the first channel that you can't get up with, the... Uh, EC there, so you get an actual report, a bit like a, a parrot repeater. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two. So therefore, it's actually popping through the uh, the audio there as you as you work it out. Okay, and again, back up to the normal channels. Stick it on fourteen. This does not communicate with a normal CB radio. This is totally on the internet. I've had people ask why they can't hear themselves on the radio. Uh, it doesn't work that way. It goes on the internet, and that's what it does. Basically, at the bottom you've got your little map button here, so you can touch your map, and it will show you pretty much whereabouts you are or where you are. Anyway, you're the blue little line there, or the blue dash, and the other guys, the further away. Obviously, you see the uh, the distance there, the distance circle. Um, I think it's 200 kilometers, something like that. Uh, basically, so that's who's on there in this area. If I go back to the center, you go back to your main set of channels, and then if you press the radar, you'll see anybody that lights up there, sort of in range. It gives you an idea. This guy is about 100 odd miles, 100 miles away. Number 23, channel 23 is on. Okay, so go back into this one. And now we're going to press the group channel. Okay, so in this one, um, Mine's logged on to that channel. The Dragon's Den is a channel I set up for myself and my local friends that use this. And you'll also find other um, channels. Um, the 23 Welcome is a trucker's channel normally. Not much on it at this time of night, and maybe having a break or whatever. But you will find other channels that you can look at and use. And if you want to search out channels, once you've got on this thing, tap the menu at the top, and you can then you can actually blacklist people on this if they become a pain in the backside as well, so you don't have to have anything to do with them, don't have to hear them, don't have to see them, and that's a good way of doing things. Edit groups, if you come down into edit groups, you can get rid of groups. Add groups will allow you to go through and you can search the groups. You know, the ones with no box ticked are the ones I've not picked so far, or the ones I'm not on. Uh, some of them are quite, you know, old, some of them are not used anymore. Some of them just get used by the few people that use them. I'll just whip it down quickly. I've got these on that I've ticked, so I can look at these. And obviously I've got the other channel that I set up called the Dragon's Den. I can close that again at the top there. And obviously, if we go and look at who's on 23 Welcome, we can tap that, and it says it says users in the group, so it'll tell you there. So if you ever get to watch this, Hello Horseshoe, Swanny, Shrek and Jock23, and obviously the White Dragon, that's myself that's doing the video. So basically, a little bit of a view in there, not many on there at the moment, no audio at the moment from there. So we'll close that up now. But the app basically, if you want to press to talk on any channel or whatever, if you're on a channel, you just uh, tap this one. If you're in the group here, it's a smaller key. And I'll just drop it into a channel so I don't talk over anybody. And you can press and hold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it doesn't record this, it goes out and it's transmitted or sent down the internet, however you want to look at it, and um, sent to the party that you're working with. And um, tonight there's nobody on, I'm making this, it's uh, half past 10 at night in the evening, so there's not much about, not much happening. Uh, through the day and through the night, you will find the truckers channels which you can add and just listen. If you want to be a bit of an air rigger, you can add them and listen, they might call you in. But at least go in and say hello, hi, whatever, and they'll generally leave you in. 
a little glitch there. Got a phone call from a friend, by the way. This is the microphone that you can buy for this app. I was saying uh, that the truckers will generally leave you in the rooms. Some people go on and be abusive, but uh, they get blocked. So you're always best to pop in, say hello, and uh, just have a quick chat with them. And they'll uh, kind of make you welcome, most of them. Uh, some of the channels that you can look up in the uh, ad channel section that we, we looked at earlier, the edit groups or the uh, ad groups kind of thing, you won't see. They're private groups. You have to be invited to them. The Dragon's Den is a private group, private channel, basically, uh, used in our circle around uh, the sort of workshop area. Um, but obviously, uh, because it's linked onto the internet, people can be travelling abroad and still talk back to us through this. So it's quite good. Excuse the yawn there. It's now a couple of minutes past one in the morning. A little bit distracted with the, playing a bit of radio on the amateur radio bands as well. But hopefully this has been a little bit useful to you and maybe give it a try at some point. As I say, it's always handy if you've got a friend who's willing to try it with you to start with so you're not so despondent when you go on and there's nobody around. But it is quite easy to get running and uh, quite easy to get working. And it is a useful little tool if you've got no other communication system up and running. So hopefully that's been some good to you. And uh, say good night and thanks for watching, by the way. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. This is the icon you're looking for if you wish to download it. Look myself up on there. You will find me somewhere. And there is the front page of the app there.